Is that a bare wall? You know you won't be able to hear anything over the vents. I see. That looks like a completely naked wall. David did something to his little section there. Yeah. I don't know what. But he's fixing it up, as you can see. And let's see where he moved all of this stuff to. And I see a lot of things over here. Yeah. Way I see around. some naked G.I. Joes that need some clothes on. There's and, some headless Joes over there, too. And I see some wrestling figures. I see his pops. And if you wonder what I'm doing with these shelves... You see me taking them out and putting them in over and over. Nobody's again. wondering that, David. Well, I mean, it looks silly though. Mm. But some of them are up angled cell shelves and some are straight. See how they don't match? Hold on, I couldn't see. Watch. See, oh. see the difference? These come straight out see. and these are angled up. Mm -hmm. So up angled ones should go on the top row to prevent things from falling forward. Yeah, Only David so thinks that things like that. Well, I mean, you don't want to find something on the floor from the top row. <laughs> That'd be a heartbreaker. And his precious G.I. Joe classified the section. Only, yeah, the only ones I ever got. And three of them were through the generosity of viewers. Who, generosity from viewers like you. Yeah, like you at home. Mm -hmm. Because they, they felt bad because I could never find them. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Yeah. I just, you know. Yeah, you go out dark hallway and David figure. You probably can't see it because of that blaring light. Yeah. But... Really all I'm trying to do is get all of the newer stuff, the modern stuff, out here. Let me turn off this fan in case you didn't hear us. Yeah. Okay. Or so turn off the, the, uh, the compressor vent. there. But um, I'm just trying to get all the modern stuff in one location, or as much of it as I can. Yeah, he kind of ran out of room quick. Yeah, almost, yeah. Yeah. So I, I may have to move something back, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'll try to keep it. Mm-hmm. Trying to control it. Most, yeah, and he wanna he wants to keep the museum vintage. Yeah. Is what he's trying to do. So um I mean if I have to, I can I used to have some modern stuff on this strip. I can just break this strip down and put um like the sixth sixth scale back on here, mm -hmm. maybe. And well, you could put your G.I. Joe classified. Keep the rest of it, maybe, and keep the rest of this mm -hmm. um, as vintage as possible. And that's kind of what I'm working on. As you can see, David's work is never done no. in this collection room here. But, you know, a lot of people know the struggle. The struggle is real. The struggle mm. for space. Trying to, try to um, make things fit the way that you want to. Okay, so that's what David is doing today. Yes, indeed. So we're back, and this is what happened. David took all of this stuff down, and he moved some stuff. He's been working all day, and this is what he got, to. He put some stuff over here. He got, let's see, the bionic people over here, and some rookies and SWAT. And then he moved some stuff over here. I don't know if you remember, but it used to be Sesame Street down here. He actually moved it over here. So they can get some more um, air time. They can be more visible. They deserve to be seen. They're, they're incredibly rare. Yeah. He had some cups here. He moved them. And he put his Mork and Mindy back over here. He had moved those out of the way. And, oh, yeah, I forgot. Over here. Oh, yeah, I was able to open <clears throat> up some of my Silverhawks. Yeah, he had some pirates. The, the Soma Woolworth pirates. Yeah, cops, Silverhawks. He only got these three, so. And they fit right there, so that's good. And he didn't do anything with the uh, Inhumanoids. Or over here, which this looks fine the way it is. The most Most of the action was right here on these two walls. Yeah, and I'm still working on it, but you know, I gotta take a break from it for a while. Yeah, cause I mean, he, he been out here all day. It's not going anywhere, so no. I can get back to it in a few days or whatever. And then he, 
put everything in the oh the the hallway light is off, so I ain't gonna worry yeah, about well, you, it. Yeah, you were showing that earlier. Yeah, I was just gonna show what it ended up looking like. Yeah. But um, yeah. So that's what he did, and I guess he's happy with it. Yeah, I mean, you always end up moving stuff around. Yeah. Plus, it gives you a chance to clean things off and whatever. Yeah, and he pulled some stuff out of storage. Yeah, those are he had a couple of pieces that um, I didn't have up before. Yeah. Like the, Bionic Woman wasn't up there. Porter Communicator wasn't up before. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, the Silver Hawks wasn't up. The Pirates wasn't. So, so he moved some things around. I think it looks good. It looks a little more organized and a little more together. Um, I didn't care for that shelf that was there with all of the modern figures because it seemed like it was just out of place. Um, yeah, that's in the, the midst reason. of. Yeah. Main reason why I wanted to move it because it's just like, you know, got all these '60s, '70s, and '80s figures, and then all of a sudden there's mm -hmm. a whole like pile of Mezcos and things yeah. like that, and it, it really kind of didn't look right. Yeah, it it looked like way out of place. So now it looks more together because this is his area is more vintage. So it looks a lot more vintage with all of the vintage stuff. So I think it. It looks a lot better. So, anyway, anything else? No, that's about it. All righty. So I'm sure everybody's had to deal with this themselves, <laughs> through moving things around and tr making things fit and pulling things down and whatever. It's part of the uh, part of the whole genre, you know. Yeah. Hello. So David made a few changes. A lot of changes, actually. He got a new toy. The mobile command, not the mobile command center, the headquarters command center, sitting down there on the bottom, and now he's wondering what to do with his little battle wagon. And what else has he changed? He's moved some stuff around over here. He moved all of his uh, Boy Scouts and OK Mike and Mark's figures. Moved all those things around. So he's doing a lot of changes, and that is how it goes.